The good news about God is that he runs a kingdom. He's not a prime minister. He's not a president. He's not a chancellor. He's a king. And the scriptures reveal his preferences in kingdom administration. For he administers everything by that administrative capacity, that office called the Christ. So anything that is outside of the reign of Christ is a loose end. It doesn't have a place in the kingdom to come. And the devil realized that all nations will bow to him. So he, he entered into a creative enterprise and developed the cosmos, the systems of this world. So that men will be trapped in those systems and not yield to the administration that is powered by the Holy Ghost. And so we see people today creatures shaped by the systems of this age by the philosophies of this age those are creations from the kingdom of darkness to keep you out outside of that blessed place where your heart and your spirit is in alignment with the administration set up in the heavens it's in the book of Ephesians that we find the purpose of time in the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 10 give me that on the screen where's my that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Christ so what he's doing in all of time is bringing everything under the administration of the Christ because if God cannot exercise his authority over your life, he cannot accomplish his divine purpose in your life. In order for him to accomplish his divine purpose, he needs to exercise his authority. And what he's doing in all of time is bringing everything that is rebellious. Because from the perspective of the kingdom of the heavens, humankind is only good for one thing, that is to rebel. And so he's seeking through Christ to bring us under his administration. The devil is trying to emphasize issues in your life that will keep you preoccupied so that you do not attend to his administration. Meanwhile, that's what he's doing in all of time. So the question I want to pose to you today is, will you yield to his administration? Will you yield? That's the reason why you have every problem you have. The financial issues, the marital issues, the issues all around your life is to keep you away, give you an emphasis that will distract you from that administration. Because that's what God is doing in all of time. Anything that does not yield to this administration in time has no place with him in eternity. There will be no loose ends at the end of the day. Everything will cry with one voice. Everything will proclaim with one mouth the majesty of him who was, who is, and who is to come. When you know this, you will, you will yield. You will give away your anger. You will give away your immorality. You will send your boyfriend packing. Yeah. Because my destiny cannot be found in the world system. It's a place of confusion. It's a place of distraction. Nothing has a foundation in that realm. I will wait under his government until my husband comes. My body is his temple. It's not available. He begins to establish his influence. And the more you yield, the more you will operate like a citizen of the kingdom into which you have been adopted. 
A time ago, a philosophy came out that Christianity is of the heart, you know, worship of God is confined to the heart. Hallelujah. That's false. There is no religion on earth that has a heart posture only. There is a disposition. There is, a, there is an ideology. There is an eye view. Your faith is going to make you a certain kind of person. And if you are not that kind of person, it means that your actions compromise your conviction. And you, uh, you will not be so much. Your worth will not be much in the kingdom of God. So in all of time, he seeks to bring me under the administration that Jesus powers. And Jesus powers an administration through his spirit. And that's why God could afford to give every one of us a measure of his spirit. Because that is, it is true that investment and his government will flow. Whereas the devil chooses to operate from the external environment, God chooses to operate from the internal environment. Because he wants to be user friendly. He wants to be so fasting to, to your life like hand and glove. So that you cannot tell if it's the spirit of God at work or if it's you that is at work. So blended together to, that you can't even find the boundary. That's how he wants to be factor with the sons of men. The most worthy New Testament prayer is to identify the government of the Christ and say, I bow. Not my will, but thine be done. You need to say that boldly. Not my will, but thine. Not my will, but thine be done. Circumstances will bring pressure upon you to respond in the flesh. Situations will attempt to blind you from the reality of the truth which is in Christ Jesus. So that you are more a creature of time than you are a creature of the heavens. And this contention goes on from generation to generation. And that's the reason for false doctrine. The falsehood powered by the kingdom of darkness is to the end that we accept another gospel to the end that we believe in another Jesus to the end that we receive another spirit for the entire administration of God is locked on the office of the Christ and realized through the presence of the Holy Spirit and he indeed will strengthen you with might by his spirit in your inner man the new church will rise out of the old one a radical opposition against unrighteousness that's when we will see power we have not touched power yet. Oh, the islands will hear his law and they will submit to his majesty. You will be his weapon. That's why he called us here during the course of these days. We've seen all kinds of battles, all kinds of opposition. You know, you didn't see me here in the morning yesterday my eyes just became red like blood so they had to book um, a moment for me with an ophthalmologist they put my head through machines and I've never seen all that one of them the machine talks it talks <laughs> all kinds of lights through my eyes blue yellow white and after so I was I was dying because I was not in church. I said, and after all the analysis, they found nothing. So I knew it was an attack. But I just wanted the doctor to confirm it that I was hey, Jesus. 
The devil may not need to fight you if you are not doing anything to stop his dominion. The most worthy prayer in the New Testament is 